There's one. Do you see him? I hope the monsters didn't give you too much trouble. So, do you have my package? A tiny package with a fluffy death claw plushie inside with a mini top hat? No? Don't, don't, don't judge, it's a premium collector's edition toy. Totally not weird. Now that you mention it, I also ordered a pizza. I was getting a little hung- wait, you're not holding a pizza box. You deceived me! I ordered a package on the internet. I've been occupying myself with minor tasks ever since then. I ran out of things to do the second day. I guess I'll have to send a complaint to the delivery company. It's been like a week. Even with all missing limbs, you could make it here in like, four days. So, back to the other subject. Why did a pizza mug here? You were really unexpected. It doesn't sound like fun, crawling through monsters, traps, and pizza mug water. Maybe I should examine you, make sure your head isn't full of t pizza mug. Well, whatever the reason might have been, I'm glad you're here now. I need a person for some lab tests, if you don't mind much. Nothing too horrible, might I say, and that is coming from a fired institute scientist. Only because they're a bunch of pizza monsters when it comes to real science. Sit in a chair. Yeah, that's about it. I like to send people in blind and see what they do. I can give you a hint if you like. Before I left, I held up my middle fingers up high and said, I'll make my own simulations with blackjack and premium pizza. Good enough. So when you're ready, sit in the chair. I almost forgot to tell you my name. It's Dr. D. Pleased to have met you. Once you're in, find my insider. He'll help you around. Good luck.
Or else. Or else. <clears throat> Buy our pizza. Looking good. Come on down, Tom McGregor. We'll give you a hamster. Hi. Come on down to Tom and Wrangler where every day's your birthday. Come on down there, Tom and Wrangler. So we'll, we'll put flowers in your nose. Come on down there, Tom and Wrangler. We got Quest Mods two for one. Slow down! Excuse me. What you want? Hold up. I think I got something over here. Something's out there. Why can't this just be over? Hey. The cat calls the pastry shop for some blueberry pie. What does the owner say back? It's the surrounding of Vegas. Do be careful around these parts of town. There's a bunch of hobos that are gonna want to eat you for no reason. What's that made up word? Rhubarb? There's got to be a new fancy password or something. Okay, whatever. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to... Yeah, that thing on your screen. And it's gone. Yeah, I don't know what it said, but do... Noise. Let's do this! <laughs> Your pizza. Buy our pizza. Do I look like I care? Wait, I do. Too bad you can't kill pizza. Wait, I... I turned 18 yesterday. Oh, oh no, help, help! Make every shot count. Blech. Anything useful? Hey there. Is the thing you were supposed to do done? Great job. You can go inside the club now. Huh? Yeah? Yes?
Yes? Yeah? Excuse me. Need something to drink? I know a couple of guys. Who are you looking for? He's been a crier right now. Has to earn that promotion one way or another. He's hanging out back. Go right ahead. The door's unlocked. You've got to be kidding me. It got you too? You really don't know what's going on? Well, let me explain. Your pizza- That thing outside wasn't me. I, I can't believe you fell for its pizza story. Let me give you some backstory. I used to work at the Institute as a computer expert. I made simulations to calculate synth mission odds, but I was eventually forced to leave. The Institute realized what I was making was extremely dangerous for them. My simulations were near perfect, and that was a big warning sign. If you can't tell what's real and what's not, people get confused and weird things happen. Test subjects totally not weird. trying to get back in my simulation. After I hopped in myself to test this recent version, something took over my body and I've been trapped in here for what feels like years. It's corrupting the world in an attempt to reset the simulation, and we're the unwanted changes. Get it now? But I have a plan to get you out. Notice I said you. I can't leave because I don't have a body to go back to. But you do, for now. You just have to get me some extra data to work with. The best way of doing that is to complete quest mods. They're small, but with them gone, I'll get a back door out of here. Now, what do you want to do first? All of them? Okay, there you go. Come back when you're done with all the mods. I won't be able to talk to you until then. Opens with a key. Hey there. Bush. Hey. What is that coming through your window? Ho <laughs> Made you look. I have no idea. One moment I'm watching a video, and the next I'm a video game character. I mean, we're, we're in a simulation. Woo! Don't let the door hit you on the way out. That's another reference. Yes. Once again, I have scaled the highest mountain and swam the deepest seas to find you. Whoa! Damn, where are they? Someone do something! Look 
looking good. Come on down to Tom and Grangler where every day's your birthday. Don't have the key. Have a visual on I guess you've got your reasons. That just looks like... from the sky and crossed a hobo. Terrible tragedy. It was my house. I didn't shoot that hobo for property damage. Well, now I have this one for sale. Are you interested? Yes, the price is set at a hundred thousand caps. You make a very challenging offer. Deal.
<clears throat> All the mods have been completed, it would seem. Yeah, I do, actually. Pizza me in the face when you get out and break the machine. It'll keep me, but that's what I want. No one can be allowed to use it. I hope you got pizza. pizza. This won't be a cakewalk. I've placed the exit at the strip entrance. Hurry up now. Have a minute? What is it? When we first met, I admit, I had my doubts about you. But you've done nothing but impress me. You're just who the Minutemen needed to bring us back from the brink. Thanks. That means a lot coming from you. You've probably realized by now how important the Minutemen are to me. When I was a kid, the Minutemen were my heroes. 